now we will be doing this uh, packet tracer configure a wireless network <coughs> so the objectives of this packet tracer is uh, connect a wireless router configure the wireless router connect our device to uh, the wire uh, wireless router uh, connect a wireless device to the wireless router add an access point to the network to extend wireless coverage and update default router settings so introduction in this activity you will configure a wireless router and an access point to accept wireless clients and route IP packets. So furthermore, you will also update some of the de default settings. So instructions for the part one, we need to connect to a wireless router. So we have here. So connect admin to WR. Connect admin to WR using a wireless a straight through inter Ethernet cable through the Ethernet ports. So select collect uh, connections here are represented by lightning bolt from the bottom left side of the uh, packet tracer click copper straight through represented by a solid black line so we just need to connect the admin to gigabit Ethernet. so uh, so when the cursor changes to connection mode click the admin and choose the fast internet zero click wr and choose an available ethernet port to connect to the other end of the cable so WR will act as a switch to the devices connected to the LAN and as router to the internet. Admin is now connected to our LAN. The packet trace of the space screen triangles on both sides of the connection between admin and WR continue to the next step. So configure admin to use the HCP. So to reach the WR management page, admin must communicate on the network. So a wireless router usually includes a DHCP server and the DHCP server is usually enabled by default on the LAN. So admin will receive IP address information from the DHCP server on the WR or the wireless router. So we just click the admin and select the desktop, uh, desktop tab. Click IP configuration and select DHCP. So we just need to click uh, desktop here and IP configuration and then click DHCP. Requesting IP address. So our IP address is 192.168.0. 100 and then subnet mask and default gateway close the IP configuration window okay. so connect to the WR web interface so in the desktop tab of admin choose web browser so we will uh, connect to the wireless router now so enter uh, this uh, IP address in the URL field to open the web configuration page of the wireless router so use admin for both the username and password under the network setup heading on the basic setup page notice the IP address range for the uh, DHCP server so is the IP address for admin within this range is it expected explain your answer so we just need to um, connect in the web browser using this URL we need to type in our password and username and then basic setup page that's the IP range here so have here 192.168.0.1 so it is the IP address of our admin PC next is configure the port of WR in this step WR is configured to route the packets from the wireless clients to internet so we will configure the internet port on wireless router to connect to the internet. So under this uh, internet setup, okay, here, so let's make this larger. So under the internet setup at the top of the basic setup page here, choose the internet IP address method from automatic to configuration to static IP. Next, type the IP address to be assigned to the internet interface as follows. So for the internet address, we have 209.165.200.225. Next, for the subnet mask is 255.255.255.252. The default gateway, 209. Oops. 
is at 209 for the DNS server, 165, 201, and we have a check based on 165. Okay, scroll down and to the page and click uh, save settings. This. If you get a request type out message, close admin window and wait for the orange lights to turn into green triangle. So click the fast forward button to make this happen faster. Then reconnect to WR from admin's browser using the process explained in step 3. So we just need to step this. So Then to verify of connectivity, open a new web browser and navigate to Cisco PK. So it may take a few seconds for the network to converge. Click fast forward time or alt to speed up the process. So host name on the zone. So basically, we have a problem here. This mm, We need to save this again. Right check, one six five twenty two. Again, we press time out here. We need to. That's one. Okay. This is Copa Tracer. Oops. Okay. We are now connected to the server. Next is um, configure the wireless settings. So in this activity, you will only configure the wireless settings for 2.4 uh, gigahertz. So st for the step one, configure the uh, wireless uh, router SSID. So navigate to the WR GU interface at 192.168.0.1. And then notice, uh, I just need to put it in. Okay. Navigate to the wireless and then basic uh, wireless settings. We are now here <coughs> and then change the network name to a company. So, a company for only 2.4 gigahertz. Notice that SSID are case sensitive. So, change the channel to 6 here and leave the rest of the uh, unchanged. For this activity, disable both uh, 5 gigahertz frequency. So you can disable this, and then click uh, save settings. Okay. Configure wireless security settings. Uh, in this step, you configure the wireless uh, security settings using LPA to security mode with encryption and passphrase. So navigate to uh, wireless and wireless security. So under 2.4 gigahertz, select WPA to personal, and then so we need to verify that the AES is selected in the passphrase. Enter Cisco one two three and exclamation mark, and then click save settings. So I think. Uh, both our configuration is correct. So next is connect the wireless client. So open the laptop and select the laptop. Click PC wireless. 
wireless and then select the connect tab click request as necessary select the wireless net name network name a company so here enter password is configuring the previous sys enter which is the cisco one two three and then click connect connect so open a web browser to verify that you can navigate to this website also go okay so repeat the above steps and connect the uh, laptop to, to the wireless network just need to the PC wireless fresh connect this go one two three connect Next step is okay. Need to verify. Go. Okay. Next is connect wireless clients to an access point. So an access point is a device that extends the wireless local area network. So an access point is connected to a wired router using an Ethernet cable to project the signal to a desired location. So for the step one, configure the access point. So connect port 0 to AP to an available port of WR using a straight through Ethernet cable. We're using this port 0 to gigabit 2. Next is click AP, select config tab under the interface heading, select port 1. In the SSID field, enter uh, a company. So we need to port 1, I think. Put one in the SSID field, a company. Okay, select uh, WPA2 piece K, enter the password Cisco123 in the pass space field. Need to select this one and then Cisco123. Keep AES as the default encryption type. Next is connect the wireless clients, open laptop 3, select desktop tab, click, uh, PC wireless, select connect tab, click refresh as necessary, select the wireless network name a company with a stronger signal. So this channel 1, click connect and then we'll uh, testing it. Next, uh, oops, PC wireless, refresh. Channel 1, connect. Let's go. 1, 2, 3. Connect. And we will verify the connection using web browser. Web browser. Let's go. Let's go. That began. Next is other administrative tasks, change the WR access password. So add, add, on admin and navigate to WR go interface at this IP address. Go into admin, admin. So the next thing we do is <coughs> navigate to administration management and change the current router password to Cisco. Administration, you need to type in Cisco. Cisco. So scroll down the button and click save settings. You need to type in admin and then our password Cisco. Our new password settings are successful. Now choose the DHCP address range. In WR, so in this step, you will change the internal network address from 192.168.0.0 slash 24 to 192.168.50.0 slash 24. So when the LAN network address changes, the IP address on the net devices in the LAN and WLAN must be renewed to receive new IP addresses before the list is timed out. So navigate to setup, then basic setup here. 
and then the IP address assigned to router IP is we have 192.168.0 uh, that one so change it to 192.168.50.50.1 okay so verify that IP address still starts at 100 and then there are 50 available IP, uh, addresses in the DHCP pool okay so add one uh, word add here will be static then a server uh, okay 209.165.201.2 so scroll to the bottom of the window and click save settings okay, so note that the DHCP range of address has been automatically updated to reflect the interface IP address change so the web browser will display a request timeout after a short time so why because I think uh, the address range uh, changes so change so this uh, close the admin web browser and then in the desktop click the command top command prompt so we need to renew our IP address so type uh, IP config then renew to force admin reacquire its IP the information via DHCP now what is the new IP ad, uh, address information for admin so we have the 192.168.50.101 so verify that you can still navigate to our Cisco server go so renew the IP address on the other laptops to verify that you can still navigate to Cisco PK server okay so I just need to Resolve. Accidentally in, uh, copied a uh, space. Just need this. Okay. So for the laptops, we just need to renew our laptops here. So notice that laptop one connected to the AP instead of WR. So when you are, IP address is here. 